Okay, welcome back to Bottles and Bottles. Uh, joined with the whole crew today, uh, Bill and Adam. It's been a minute it's, since everybody got together. It's been a while. We're going to do a, uh, a quick shoot the shit Saturday, and we are doing it on a Saturday. And that's a win for us. That that's is a, a win. big win. That is a big when was win. was last shoot the shit Saturday we did on a Saturday? I think Bill and I did one. Yeah, yeah. we did. I think it was Saturday. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, not. I guess I, it's been a while for me. Yeah. yeah. At any rate, we, we got some catching up to do. Because it's been a while since the three of us have been in the room together. Yeah. And um, I'll give you guys a quick update. First of all, I'm wearing my Browns shirt. Yep. Browns just uh, beat the Steelers. They did. That was a nice margin that they won by. Yeah, it was 28, a good game. 28-17? I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. It sounded like won. that. They got that late fumble in the end zone. And right. It. Oh, right. So it wasn't as good. I didn't stay up for that one. Yeah. No, it's late. You got to get to bed. So yeah. I'm I'm repping the Browns. Um, quick baby update. We were at 36 in about half holy, a week. Holy, fully so, baked. Holy dad. So you're out, you're. I'm you're gonna on te- it. I'm gonna test Adam. Oh boy. Here What's significant about next week when we hit that 37 mark? You start doing like two visits to the office a week. Um, we do one a week. We'll start doing one a week. Right, but there's so something significant something about significant about 37. Well, I never wore that number. <laughs> you know what it is, right, yeah, Bill? Yeah, dude, I know okay. what it is. No. We, t- we talked about it. We did, but that's that's a while ago. Okay, walk me through you, you, where you you're said, thinking. You said it already over there, Greener. You mentioned it, fully cooked. F- okay. It's, oh. So 37 weeks. For those so of you, halfway there. For those of you who forgot, or much like Adam, just in one ear out the other. Um, <laughs> Easy. <laughs> 37 There's weeks. a bit of a filter for it to go through. <laughs> 37, 37 weeks is full term. Okay. So that kind of means, like, really, even now, like, the baby could come at any moment. I mean, yeah, Corp would be out of here in 10 minutes. Yeah. Okay, well, so I could. geographically, Morgan is within 100 miles. She's actually at work. Oh, okay. So well, she's that's easy enough. She's right where she needs to be. Yeah. yeah. Does it, she have a hospital bag with her at work? So last night we packed our hospital bags. Nice. Um, so we've got kind of all the essentials. That's kind of a segment I would like to do after this shoot the shit one is talk about what I packed and maybe you might have some recommendations. Maybe Adam might have some too, because you've given us some great insight yep. um from the outsider perspective. So that's where the baby stuff is at. Morgan's still doing great. Uh, last we got measured, the baby was like four, f- four and a half, I think, something like that. Four and a half what? Ounces. Ounces, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> four, 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 it, four pounds, four, four pounds, six ounces. Sorry. Okay. All right. So that's, uh, so they say about half an ounce a week. Yeah. So like now five. that was like, that was like two weeks ago. Okay. So okay. then you're, you're going to be up there in the, the sweet spot. Yeah. Yeah, I mean we're we're like 60th percentile. Yeah, that's right where you need um, to be as far as size goes. So yeah, that's kind of where the baby stuff is at. We'll we'll touch on that later, but let's kind of dig into this whiskey because we have a special one here, and I'm gonna let you guys run with it because I didn't do a damn thing. Nope. I sat here and waited for you two to do all the work, and now I'm drinking it. I'm very happy you get to benefit from our <laughs> laborious. Yeah, right. I mean, efforts. we it put a lot of work into. Signing up for this lottery. So, <laughs> somebody give somebody give them the rundown. First of all, what is it? It's the uh, watershed, uh, Ohio distilled, aged and bottled, um, down in Columbus. Uh, it's aged six years, barrel proof, and uh, finished in their apple brandy casks. Mm, okay, which I think is very fitting for this time of year. Yeah, it's perfect for the turn of fall. Yeah, yeah. fall was well. According first, to Adam, today was the first day of fall, but it was actually well, like three in, days. in relevance to me seeing you guys. <laughs> okay. I didn't have the opportunity to wish you a happy first day of fall in person, <laughs> so I wanted to make sure I well, passed that, that along. That was nice of you. There's a lot of celebration in that. Yeah. You know, we're, we live in Ohio, mm-hmm. and fall for, I think, most people is a really big celebrated season. Oh, 100%. That's why a lot of people live in Ohio. I mean, think of all the benefits we have. We have apple orchards. We've got the turning of the leaves. We've got plentiful corn for mazes. Mm-hmm. Um, do love a good corn maze. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if there's anything better to do. Maybe uh, some whiskey and some apple cider. Mm, Maybe okay. some barrel proof. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You get a little wasted or whatever you'd want to call it, tipsy, and 
Yeah. You go waste some time in a True. I, I love maze. it. Now, this this bottle isn't something that you can buy on the shelf. So how did you obtain this? I know um, you mentioned a lot. One of, one of you guys suggested that I enter into this raffle. Uh-huh. Um, through OHLQ, right? Was it through Correct. OHLQ? And no, you went into it, too. This right? was this was through the distillery. This was a oh, their own, watershed. This was their own yeah. raffle, yeah. So they had, uh, I well, think I saw some more... T- 12,000 entries and 3,000 bottles. Okay. Yeah, so kind of one in four shot at it. and Yeah. That's kind of a nice hot, though. Almost holds true. You got one and yeah. You're, we didn't. Well, somebody else in your yes. family got one, right? Yeah, my brother's girlfriend got one. Okay. Nice. Well, who's that going to? Or does she drink whiskey? No, Ben's going to Ben's gonna drink it. Okay. He tried to pawn it off onto me and <laughs> <laughs> tried to uh, jit me out of it, but uh, no, he's, <laughs> he's holding on to it. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Does he have a collection going? Uh, I've uh, I feel like there's I've passed, some on, passed, I've passed on some things that uh, I not, enjoy, but not your are my tea? favorite. And then I know he'll. Uh, what does he like to drink? That's a good question. So he's, he's younger than you. He's younger than me. Yeah, seven years younger. And he's, I would by no means classify him as like a big drinker or anything like that. Like no, it's kind of surprising to me that he even is into bourbon, but I kind of get that because he's he's a sophisticated guy. Yeah, he likes to, you know, dabble into a, a spirit at night okay. every now and then. And uh, sometimes it's wine with his girlfriend, and sometimes it's oh. bourbon, whiskey, anything I pass along to him. Young man's growing up. I remember mm-hmm. coaching him when we used to coach their hockey team. I know, they were to... young. They were young then. That was back young when they Burks. were six to eight. Yeah, they were young. Yep. Um, I am... Playing, playing footsie with Adam's uh, cable over here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so in there. this is awesome, by <laughs> the way. I, I think it's it's perfect for today. And what's the proof? It's 126.1. Yeah, it does so, not so at all seem like that. No, I mean, there's definitely good apple in there. Oh, there's, I get might, Like, when you smell it. Would you be opposed if I poured a little bit of water in there? Dilute it a little bit? No. All right. You do what you, you want, dilute man. dilute away. It's your whiskey. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm good. I found out last night I'm really solid at anything under 105. Okay. I was oh, out. Of, I was out of, oh, you was bumped it? up. I, yeah. You bumped, <laughs> what was it, 90 <laughs> last time? Yeah. yeah. 100 proof, bo- anything bonded. That's 7.5% more alcohol. Wow. I know, yeah. I know I'm hitting a certain point when I went to a restaurant last night, and they had a huge bourbon list, but they were just like brands. It wasn't like the specific kind. So it just said like Angel's Envy. Okay, so you had no idea. So you have no idea, or Elijah Craig, which one? You know, mm-hmm. is there something special about it? So I just asked the waitress. I said, "Do you guys have anything over like 105 yeah. proof?" She's like, "I don't know." She, I mean, literally knew nothing. I said, "What kind of?" I said, "What kind of angels envy? Is this a bourbon or is this the rye?" Or she's like, "I don't know." Oh man, literally knew nothing. So I just walked up to the to the bar. This was last night. Took a peek. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes Square you got to just do the bar because not everyone is. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a, that's a nice, like they've got good bourbon. Square 22. Yes. Yeah. They got some good they've stuff. Got flights, mm-hmm. But it's, it's just kind of disappointing when you've got any service industry They're I mean, their job is to sell alcohol. Yeah. Even though they're, you know, serving food. Right. Yeah. No, they had a good selection up there. And, um, how was pricing? I don't want to like roast them, but how was pricing? Hmm. Everything is expensive there. Yeah, I guess the food's expensive. Uh, yeah, I guess everything's I guess, just. I I'm, feel that that place definitely lives up to the outward image that they want to portray. Agreed. It's a it's a classier. I, I'd put it. You're you're paying probably fifteen twenty percent premium. Yeah, absolutely. So if you're comfortable paying, you know, twenty five dollars for a plate of food. You figure your drinks are probably going to be you know, between twelve and fifteen. Okay. Yeah. I've yet to go, so I've never been there. I it's think good, it's good I think food. it's good. Like, not yeah. to knock it. Mm-hmm. Um, go to the bar. Yes. <laughs> Bartender, his name. He goes by Animal. Oh, really? Um, yeah. You remember uh, Sesame Street, the red uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. guy plays drums, Animal. <laughs> yeah. So he's got him tattooed on his shoulder. No. Yes, and he's got a drink named the Animal. You got to try it. It's great. Okay. Not bourbon, but it's good to at least mm-hmm. you know kind of make friends. Yeah. He's great. He knows his stuff. Um, but just small plug there for my <laughs> friend Animal Sweet <laughs> Square Twenty Two. Yeah. No, um, it, was, it was good. Um, yeah. Also, so they, again, they had a good bourbon selection. I, we, we were talking about proof, what you like. Again, I find myself leaning more towards 105 to 115. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of been my sweet spot. That's why I like a lot of the Elijah Craig barrel proofs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, those are, I could, I could sip on those all day long. Yeah. A little bit of water that opens that apple up. 
so really? much more for me. Seriously. Yeah. It's, um, so it's crazy smelling this because I just get like crisp, I'm, like crisp apple. I'm, I've been having the hardest time trying to nose anything. So, I get I get so much apple, it's unbelievable. It, it, there's a ton of apple in there. But I have terrible fall allergies where mm-hmm. it's just a, a few months of very annoying stuffy nose, so I, I can't really smell mm-hmm. as there's, much apple. There's, okay. there's cons of Ohio, too, right there. Fall yeah, allergies. tell me about it. Um, so speaking of places that we went to in the last couple of days, did you go anywhere recently? I have gone nowhere. Okay. I went one other place. Okay. Town, yeah. town Hall. How was their selection? They've Fantastic. been known for some good stuff. Fantastic. Really? Um, I ended up, I started in Easy with okay. an OWA. Yeah. And then I had the Booker's 2201. Mm. Very, very good. I got two glasses of that. It was really, really cool. nice. They have a good price on that one, I think. Yeah. 15? Yeah. Yeah. It, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Uh, the OWA was more. Back, it was 1750. OWA has been getting a lot. I think just because it's hard to get. Yeah, seventeen fifty for an ounce of OWA, Oof. which I was like, yeah, I'm not going to drink that anymore. No, here. not when a bottle is 55 <laughs> bucks. <laughs> right. Yeah, um, yeah. But anyway, those are the two places I went. Both had really great selections. How about you? Where'd you go? I found a place, guys. Okay. Oh, a place here? I found a place in Ohio. Yeah, Northern Ohio. Uh, Lorraine, Ohio. Oh. Which, it doesn't get much attention. If you go like down the main strip, it is... Um, pretty desolate, but there's a great place that I got on recommendation called Speak of the Devil, mm. and goodness, do they have a good like current selection? Um, they have probably some of the best prices that I've seen for a bourbon whiskey bar. Um, the staff is incredible. Noah and Jack helped us out last night, and they're extremely knowledgeable. So they'll do bourbons and they're like complete bourbon nerds and then they've got great cocktails and they're extremely knowledgeable on that and it's very much like a full conversation of what are you into where everybody goes into a bar and they're like i want a jack and coke or i want a gin and soda right and they're just much like what are you drinking what flavors you like i've been other places like this Mm -hmm. they do this kind of at um porco's down the walk on 25th oh, or from where you're yep, at. Yep. Um, but speak of the devil. I mean, they had so much stuff that was current. So that Yellowstone 2022 limited edition came okay. out on the bar. Do you have it? Uh, no, I didn't want to go for it. Cause I know you have a bottle. I what, just, that's, that's why I asked if you I, had it. So you need to know. I, I kind of want to go back there and I don't know if it's going to be something that's going to be around. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously the 2022 is not going to be around very long. Right. Um, but I had Remus, which is oh yeah, I've seen that in stores lately, right? Lights out, like the single barrel or um, I've got a re- picture of Remus the Repeal, Remus Repeal Reserve. What number? Uh, twenty twenty two medley. Okay, so it was number six. Okay, yeah, that was a six release. Just came out too. Wow, just mm-hmm. came out, and I had seen them up at the local by my place, mm-hmm. and yeah, they that- come in quarter cases. Like three bottles to a box, and they don't get many of them. Yeah. So I'm like, I was looking at them, like, what do you know about Remus? And you know, they shared some good stuff. Um, but they had some good selections. I had mm. Little Book Chapter Five last night. Oh, okay. Nice. Um, which is a really good pickup. Mm-hmm. But everything across the board, they price it just to drink. That's great. They're they're a great group. It's a small little bar. They've got about one out back, like a small section. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Highly highly recommend. We'll Four, check Forty that out. minutes away from here. Yeah. And it is worth every single cent you pay on the turnpike to get there. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool little place. Uh, nice. they, they have small plates like, uh, what did we have last night? Little like sliced up Smokies, some okay. uh, olives, uh, marinated oh, in the I Sicilian. Hate olives. I can't stand olives. Oh, you guys are losing out. Let me <laughs> no. tell you, there's uh-uh. nothing better. No um, I beg to differ. Yeah, there's a lot of things. <laughs> Who says that? Olives. There's nothing better than an olive. Yeah, who, literally. Who, who says you? that? When Who you're sitting like there, <laughs> when you're drinking, there's probably nothing better. And then they had some maple toasted <laughs> assorted nuts, which maybe you okay. guys would appreciate more. Yeah, um, I'm into was, toasted nuts. It was really good. Um, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it there. Mm, okay. Yeah. Um, any any purchases outside of the watershed? Which 
watershed distillery. Where did you say this distillery is? Columbus. It's in Columbus. It's Columbus. In Columbus. Yeah. yeah, okay. In Columbus. It's. I mean, Ohio. I think we're kind of getting a little bit more benefit. We've got a few good distilleries. In yeah, town. I think there's there's a, there's watershed. There's Middle West. Yeah, yeah. Middle West is another one I'm we haven't to, done anything I'm on. To think, but I don't know where the laws are now with. I just you got me a bottle of Middle West for my thirtieth birthday. A while ago, yeah. The bottle's gone. I drank it all. <laughs> it was good. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I got that off of a recommendation from somebody that I had tended bar to. Okay. In New York, and they were Ohioans. Yeah, I'm it was like, good. What are you drinking? He's like, Oh my God, you gotta try Middle West. Yeah. And I had no knowledge of it. Okay. So when I saw that on the shelf, I had to get it, yeah, a little bit. Oh, it's I'm pr- sad I didn't have any of that with you. Yeah. It was that was a while ago. That was my 30th birthday, so that was two years ago, so it's yeah, been a while. you're an old man. Now. And before we get <laughs> off the subject, I want to mention one last thing that um, I was able to taste last night that wasn't foreseen and was not on the bar, but Jack, mm. Jack pulled out a private bottle of not, his. Oh. Peerless Double Oak. How was mm. it? <laughs> I'm oh. not one for a Double Oak, but it was delicious. Okay. I, I love the Double I Oak. I really liked it. The Wood for Double Oak is Wood for fantastic. Double Oak, um, you know, the... Uh, Elijah Craig toasted oh, barrel, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. same concept. Um, I mean, those are those are two of my kind of staples go tos yeah, when yeah. I've got them. So um, I was I was pleasantly surprised. Good, good for you. So had had fun, Bill. Hopefully, you can join us for the next uh, venture. Yeah, absolutely. I'll pop my easy pass on and head out there. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping just to take you from the house and pop you in the back seat or something oh, well, like that. That yeah. works too. I can still bring the easy pass. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So there's kind of a, a catch up on the whiskey. We've had quite a few solid drops here in Ohio. Um, a lot of lotteries going on. Yeah, tis the season. Tis the season. So there's there's a lot of stuff flying around here. Lots of we've st- started to get more OWA, which I know you and I talked about last time you were over. It was like, where whatever happened to Weller Antique? I think it's it just, just it. There must be something in their production line, yeah, where they've got to rotate through. Mm-hmm. Just because OWA is probably, I'm assuming, going to come back around the holidays, and they maybe distilleries want to make sure that they've got it. I yeah. don't know. I mean, it's already started to. I think we could hit. probably get in a full conversation about that. Oh yeah, entirely distribution yeah, that's, model. Mm-hmm. That's like an hour long conversation. We won't. We won't dig into that just we yet. We know. <laughs> that. That's just I find that really interesting yeah. supply chain and economics um, of it. Okay. The only other thing I've tried recently that's new to me is from Gervasi. Gervasi is a winery in Canton, Ohio. Yeah. And they started doing their own not only a winery, whiskey. they're a distillery. Well, now they are seriously, yeah. man. And they produce some good stuff. It doesn't end at whiskeys though. No, it does not. They also they have, have a, they have a huge line. Look. How do you pronounce it? Liqueur? Yeah, liqueur. Yeah. Um, good stuff too. Yeah, they I mean they had gin, vodka, they got they got everything there. Yeah. Wow, um, good for them. And they've got finishes too. Well, that's what I tried. They do all the wine. I'm sure they do all the, with the wine, good right? Finishes. So I had the only one they had available. Everything else was out. They had this one that was a um it's their basically their uh port finished barrel. Okay, so that's... similar to an Angel's Envy yeah. where it's, yeah. you know, your traditional um whiskey and then they, loves they age it. Yeah, it was it was good. I mean, it was at a wedding, so yeah. they when they served it to me, I naturally brought a flask with me. So I was coming off of Elijah what, Craig. What, oh, um, barrel proof, barrel proof. Wow. So I was coming off of you Support know 100, 117 going in. <laughs> I was coming off 117 proof and and jumped into a 90 uh, port finish barrel. So. And they had to serve it with ice because it was a wedding. They mm. had to serve Wait, it on the rocks. For real? Yes. Why? I don't know. He just Who says? The bartender. I, I said, need I need to put ice in this because it's a wedding. He that's literally what he said. Not kidding. Maybe that's a rule there. Was it outside at the gazebo place? Yep. Yeah. yep. Beautiful wedding. Really? Absolutely beautiful I've wedding. I've never heard that rule. Yeah. So he I mean, I said, Hey, can you drop like a couple cubes? They only had like the like the not really crushed, but like they were smaller cubes and he just mm. took a scoop of it. So I tried to scoop it out with a spoon, but I also didn't want to look like a weirdo. Yeah, get this out of here. <laughs> yeah. Um, but nonetheless Yeah. Cause you really want to taste the spirit. Yeah. Yeah. But nonetheless, the, it was it was good. I just didn't I couldn't I can't do a full on review of it because again, I was coming off of a high proof and I wasn't drinking it how I normally drink it. Yeah. Um and I was really disappointed that I could not get a bottle of their maple. Mm-hmm. cask 
I don't know exactly what the process is behind the maple cask, but that one was very intriguing to me. But that does sound intriguing. They were out of it. Okay. Completely out. They said it probably they had some won't on be the back. bar, but not available for sale. Not even in the bar. Oh, wow. Yeah. I feel like I tried that. Got to keep an eye out for that. And it was good. Yeah. Just keep an eye on their Gervasi website or something for like that. For sure. Yeah. Um, other than that, outside of whiskey, uh, what else has happened recently for us, or at least for some of us? Uh, Apple has come out with some new products. Oh. I got the iPhone 14 Pro. Yeah, you did, man. Is that You're cool. in your lap there? Yep. Wow. It's beautiful. What are you rocking right now? Not that. What do you have? 13. Oh, I I mean, honestly, it's like the same phone. It's only because I smashed my 12. (laughs) (laughs) And Bill's Bill's got the 12? 11. 11 11 Pro. I respect that. He always gets the hand-me-downs from his wife. I do, and it's perfectly fine. It works perfectly fine. (laughs) No, to be quite honest with you, as I've gotten older, it's just I want want a call, and I want a call to sound really good. (laughs) I want a text. And I want fast response on internet service. Yeah. Most Agreed. of the stuff I don't... I mean, I've been taking some photos, but... And, and I was going to say... I'm not a big photographer yet. Not yet. And that was where my jump came in here. Morgan doesn't like to get the newest of the new phones, whatever. So let me ask you, what's it like walking around with 48 pixels in your pocket? <laughs> Ooh, well, that is a ton of pixels. Knowing that I can only take a couple photos before it eats up your entire storage. I mean, literally... <laughs> How much is... Like one photo, how much storage? Well, um, I mean, I can probably take like 25 full res 48 megapixel photos. And your memory's full? And then, yeah, then it gets backed up. Literally knock it off. <laughs> Good thing you have the cloud. Who? Hold on. Exactly. Who greenlit that from Apple? Let's produce a phone. Give it 48 megapixels. <laughs> And the smallest amount of memory can't that, service the phone. That's been one of the biggest complaints is, and even like... I'm assuming that's the smallest amount of memory. Correct. And I regret... Yeah, I regret okay. not going higher for that and for the video. Like, Do you, you think that's returnable within seven days? 14, it is. I just, I'm like, eh, whatever. I don't live with that. Is it black? Your phone? Yeah, this, this new... Space black or whatever it's called. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even look at the colors. All right. Yeah. I don't mean to dog it. it. It's it looks like a cool phone. Yeah. It's it's fine. And honestly, if I'm gonna be taking photos like that, I've got my Sony RX one hundred. I know, but like let's say you're out at a wedding, you don't have the RX one. Right, your baby's sitting there looking cute. Yeah. I usually have the RX one hundred with me. <sighs> it's an it's an it's gonna be a staple in my baby bag. I'm very disappointed to That's hear fair. that. <laughs> Not about your phone situation. That's it's crazy. Outrageous. And and you there are certain because I didn't get a higher um a higher memory, it's or higher storage, not higher memory. Higher storage. Storage, yeah. Um if you want to get technical. Yeah. I there like are certain world. settings that I cannot record video on. <laughs> like they offer, they're like, oh I forget what it was. I think it was 4K 60 frames per second, right? Because it just doesn't have enough. Yeah. Wow. I cannot do it. I can do 4K 30, which is fine. That's what we film with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but it's like I just got this phone, and then it wasn't till a week after that I started seeing YouTube reviews. You know, I, Justine, and... Um, Ma- uh, who's the... Uh, I know who you're talking Justin, about. There's a Justin... So and so TSE or something like that. I, yeah, he's, is he's Linus crazy. did Linus do anything on that? Linus did one, yeah. um, but everybody was, and there were a couple Marcus, others. Marcus, did he do one? I don't know that I know Marcus. Okay, but there were some. I mean, everybody on the YouTube was like, "Yeah, it's great. You can do all those things, but if, if you, you've got a terabyte of storage, you yeah, they're like you need at least a minimum of the five twelve or whatever. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, like I would need to go two levels up. Wow, which I sh- I didn't know. Yeah. I mean, how would you? Right. Well, yeah. considering over the last, I don't know, five years, that's been acceptable. Like, they're... Oh, there's they nothing to sneeze at. They really 4K, haven't bumped up that 128 since when? I, I don't know. Maybe the 11? Are they still doing 64s back then? I don't know. Maybe. I think that was the 10. I think that was the iPhone 10. Okay. And then they, after that, they bumped it up. So this is where when they it went starts to, the to get weird is you're offering a one a 512, a 1 terabyte. Is there a 2 terabyte yet? I'm following. 1 terabyte. If you're going to stretch that to have more, 
why wouldn't you bump up the minimum? Have three tiers. It's because they don't want people to pay $1,500 for their starter phone. Well, yeah. you know what? If it's a pro version, I'm already spending $1,000 on the phone, in my opinion. Yeah, and how much... I wouldn't have sneezed if they would have been like... more as a one terabyte yeah. as a, an entry level, let's say just raw material cost. What's the difference between a 128 and a one terabyte to Apple buying that from Samsung, I assume? No clue. A couple bucks, maybe. I want to see right. that tear sheet. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so it goes 128, 256, 512, and one terabyte. So 128 and 256 are obsolete. 512 is what the minimum should be. One terabyte is, I think maybe two models is probably fine. Agreed. Is for the pro for model. For pro model, yeah. 12, well, you're telling me if you take 25 photos on a 128, you're going to get 50. And don't, and don't quote me on the 25 photos. Oh, sure, photos, I'm sorry. But, I, I guess, yeah, I, I assume. Um, so it's it's 999 for the 128 gigabyte, which is what I got. For 1099, 256, 1299, 512. I kind of want to hit myself in the head for just not jumping in and going at least 512. But again, I did not, they don't disclose that. I didn't know this stuff at the time. Mm -hmm. And I'm very clean with like the amount of apps I use, my photo storage, all that. I'm very, very particular on transferring all that stuff. When was the last time that they encountered this problem? I remember this happening. I think it was the... Five? Uh, six? No, I think it was, I think it was later. I think it was the seven. Okay. I think it was the seven. Because Jet Black. Yes, yeah. which was a sick phone. God, I wish they would just come back with it, give uh, me an updated screen. Yeah. I would be so happy. Now, I am pretty happy with the color of this one. Okay. It's, it's a little bit different. If I can get that. This yep. No, do the two bottom ones. Oh, look at you go. Here, let him see it first. So I do like the color of it. It's definitely a darker color than like their old like graphite. Than the one I got. Yeah. It's yeah. Still, still, okay. pretty, still pretty gray. You might have had to yeah. take a peek. Sure. Um, what I do miss is their, the sides uh, I think are less, I miss the midnight green or whatever that one was that there was the 11 pro. I think, I think it was the 11 pro. Yes. Cause the okay. 12 pro came up with the Pacific blue. So the 11 had this like, then they came back 13 had the green too. Right. But it was, a, it was a little bit different, little different shade different, green. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Um, I think 15, man, they need a redesign. You give me a smaller notch, that's cool and all, but it's yeah. pretty much the same thing. I Yeah. I mean, I haven't really been like, oh my God, the dynamic island is so sick. Like it's... Has it been cool? It, there's been some cool like things of it. like, it, like but that MacBook touch bar. I feel like that's what it's kind of kind of be like. I And I was suckered into buying one of those. Mm -hmm. uh, I had one of those. Got your Tamagotchi up there. and I will not um, even open the darn thing. I use it with an external keyboard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm happy that you got the new phone. I am not the... I needed it. Yeah, like, I'm not the client that they're looking for to uh, to upgrade there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to be a next cycle guy, I think. I skipped the 13 mostly because I'm too skeptical of the number 13. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's fair. <laughs> that is fair. <laughs> huh, so I never that, thought about that. That was my reasoning for not going with the 13 Pro. I just I took a year off of yeah. upgrading. I got a new watch last year, so that was cool. Uh, the series that seven ultra that one they just came out with. <laughs> okay. There's, so we have this cat that is like an outdoor cat. Garfield. I, well, we, I call her kitty kitty. She's somebody's cat in the neighborhood. I just saw her walk up our driveway. She's the sweetest thing. <laughs> um, at any rate. Soft so soul. that was, that's kind of what's been going on, okay. uh, in the world of, in, in my world, at least between whiskey babies and, yeah. uh, Apple stuff. I know Bill's busy. You know, you're still getting settled into your new house. You got two kids. So, it's uh, a busy world. Probably no major updates on that end. Um, Adam, only, only Adam, thing I got is yeah. crypto mining is <laughs> currently stagnant. I'm not going to say dead, but yeah, it's I, it's it's very quiet in my household. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Saving a lot of electricity. Well, that's there good for you. Go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But I'm uh, waiting for um, it to get a little bit colder. I'm heating my house this year with. Uh, <laughs> Bitcoin miners. <laughs> I am not even joking. Just cancel your, just cancel your like uh, my gas, your gas bill. Yeah. I, I wish it's a it's a waste of forty bucks because I have not forty bucks. That's I have cheap. not registered. Oh, because I have not registered a single metric square foot. 
<laughs> or whatever the the unit is, I, I don't have anything. You're, I've only paid the membership fee to, yeah. to keep the account open. Good for you. You're yeah. gonna get like the uh like the FBI or somebody coming knocking at your door thinking you're stealing something, right? Something like yeah. there's no way you just don't have well, yeah, I my mind here. So Yeah. Um all right, cool. Well, hey, that's our that's a good wrap up for our shoot the shit Saturday. We got some some topics to discuss. I really want to uh, pick Bill's brain as I just packed my bags, yeah, like I, I mentioned last night. Bag. I want to kind of get your take on what I'm missing, mm-hmm. and maybe Greener will have some some insight on some other things that yeah, maybe he would like. Good ideas. So we'll jump into that next episode. Um, but thanks for joining us. Enjoy your weekend or weekday whenever you're listening. And uh, as always, bottles up. 